So this barn locally, uh, well locally, it's not known for anything except being the old barn. However, it is rumored uh, to be the Zo uh, Zodiac Shack with some connection to the Zodiac Killer, who was someone that they have not caught yet that killed people in the San Francisco Bay Area in the late 60s, early 70s. And he... Anyway, the barn back in the 80s used to be a place where kids could come for senior portraits and photos. Very nice, it was an old drying barn, I think, for fruit. And now you can see it's just become an eyesore, an attractive nuisance. And uh, it's been ordered, apparently been ordered to be torn down by its owners. And that is what is happening today. We did look at salvaging some of the wood, but I'll be honest with you, I'm a wood guy. That sounds kind of funny, I'm a wood guy, but there's uh, so many termites in here and the stuff that doesn't have termites is nailed in, uh, which is too bad because you can see, you know, some of these timbers are, are pretty nice. You know, we may be able to salvage uh, a portion of this, this column here, but there's a lot of uh, a rot and a lot of uh, bug damage in the bottom. So um, anyway, this is probably the last video that'll ever be made of the, the Zodiac Shack, as they say. Um, you can see some of the things that are in here. There's an old mattress. There are rattlesnakes in this barn, so we do need to be we do need to be careful. Uh, here's some of the old fruit drying bins that were used for back when this was a fruit drying barn. Looks like there's some some sort of processing equipment here. I don't know quite how it functioned. In some ways, it's very sad that it's it's leaving because it is a little bit of the heritage of the area. And uh, yeah, there's an old pair of Levi's there. So you have a within 10 feet, you got a spray paint can, a pair of somebody's pants that are lost, an old sleeping bag. So yeah, there was some stuff out here that happened that wasn't great. But anyhow, it is a it is a piece of history, and you know, in some ways, it will be missed. And over here, to uh, oversee the demolition, we have about 800,000 bees. So I think we're going to, I think the guys are going to come out here in the morning and uh, try and do this while the bees are still sleeping. The bees are pretty smart and they do sleep in the, sleep in the morning since, since tomorrow is a Saturday. Uh, they'll probably be up late. So anyhow, we'll be farm there and there's some, the dumpsters where this is going to end up. So. Anyway, that's the tour of the, the the barn, which we call it the barn, the old barn. Some people call it the Zodiac Shack. Uh, some people call it an eyesore. Some people call it a piece of history. But um, either way, it appears that uh, the saga of this place is coming to an end tomorrow morning. It's kind of weird to see it actually happening. Uh, you see the barn actually coming down. All those years, everybody begging for it to be coming down. Now that's weird. Yeah. But I'll be honest, tell people were like, oh, it's kind of sad. I'm like, you have been for 20 years about yeah. this thing.
I think they're actually, they're, you know, they're doing pretty good actually. Get too close to this. At least the, the, the bees are safe. Oh, they, they called them to coordinate. Yeah, he said just leave the hives here. Don't, don't knock them over, obviously. I was gone all day. Let's see what we find here. There's the dumpster. And here is one giant pile of barn. They got two dumpsters filled here, it looks like. Pretty much to the top. And there's this massive, still massive pile of massive pile of barn. My guess is it's gonna be probably another, probably another two or three dumpsters that are this size. Um, now that we have it down, I got a little closer look at all the wood that's in it, and uh, I'm, it's, there's a lot of dry rot and termite, termite-ridden stuff. So it's going to be pretty tough to include this in any any other structures. This is what the end of the road looks like for the, the Zodiac Shack. Oh, I'm backing right into the beehives here. Yeah, these guys are definitely awake right now. Remember this morning they were they were sleeping, but. Um, Anyhow, that's it. So that's the barn. Thank you, barn, for all your years of service, for drying all that fruit and providing a place for teenagers to go and scare themselves and senior portraits and all the other things that took place inside it. A lot of memories, a lot of history. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes this is just how things end up. You know, it was neglected and uh, ultimately, Something else is going to get built here that's going to be productive and helpful. So that's it. That is the end of the story for the barn.